Next, let's queer up politics. Will Ashley Brundage make history as Florida's first trans state elected official? Ashley Brundage, a Florida Democrat, aims to break barriers as the first trans person elected in the state. With a strong commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion, Brundage recently qualified to run for the state house. If successful in the August 20 primary, she seeks to champion DEI in Florida's city capital. She promises to work on lowering insurance costs, protecting small businesses, and advocating for reproductive rights. Her candidacy comes amidst a contentious political climate with Florida Governor Ron DeSantis drawing criticism for his stance on DEI. He is the same person who praised Brundage in her receiving of the Spirit of the Community Award from the Florida Commission on the Status of Women in 2022. According to Fox 13 Tampa Bay, DeSantis personally wrote a letter saying, I am confident that you will serve as a shining example of a positive role model in your community. Thank you for your selfish contributions to fellow Floridians. Brundage is running against Nathan Kuyper, Kuypers in the primary for House District 65. Brundage's bid not only represents a personal milestone, but also a broader movement towards LGBTQ plus representation and equality in Florida politics. Now, you know, I was looking at both her and her primary candidate, just trying to get a better sense of these people in the primary. And I think it's a very fascinating race to look at because you have Brundage. She's definitely representing an upper class, white, educated platform. She is mm -hmm. talking about small businesses as someone who's talked to Democratic lawmakers up and down the East Coast. I find when a Democrat says they talk about small businesses, they're not actually saying that they would do anything to help like deal with regulations or streamline the process. They just use it to say why they're not going to work or vote in, on favor of workers' rights or raising the minimum wage. So I always, whenever I hear that from an, a Democrat, I'm like, whoa, why are you saying that? Yeah. So that was my first concern. You know, she also has a history working for big banks in the finance sector. And her opponent is, went to the University of Tampa, which is in the district. And he's talking about rents and cost of living, which is the top concern for marginalized people, including black people, Latinos, LGBTQ people, like those issues I know will resonate more with college students and younger people and more working class voters. So it'll be interesting to see. And I think it'll show that, you know, diversity is very important, but you also have to bring policies to the table that are really going to say something. Right. And we're going to maybe see that in, in August. Well, I think, um, you know, the census's stance on DEI is not favorable in this state mm -hmm. at all. So I do feel like she has an uphill battle because even though he has supported her in a letter, Made wonderful <laughs> comments, you know. Nice. At the end of the day, he does not support DEI. Also, that's not going to help her in a Democratic yeah. primary. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Also, <laughs> let's face it, Ron DeSantis did not write a letter. Ron DeSantis, <laughs> uh, Ron DeSantis, basically have some A AI. write a letter <laughs> mm -hmm. or chat GPT it, sign it. <laughs> <laughs> he, he probably doesn't know that Audrey is a trans woman because nope. obviously mm. in 2022 they were already on the warpath on uh, on anti-trans initiatives. Yep. Uh, she just you know oh she's an honorary of this governor signed this thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all. There were not the positive both. Her and her opponent are doing a lot on social media around LGBT mm -hmm. community issues. I yeah. saw he was doing, I'm not even, I was like, is he also part of the community? I'm not entirely sure. Like, we have to double check that. Like, I think that is a big positive yeah. step as he, well for us. He's a uh, cute bear, though. Can we bring, back, <laughs> bring that picture back up again? I didn't want to say it, but that. No, he is a cute bear. See? He's cute. They got one good oh, picture wow. of him. You lucky you got one good picture out there. <laughs>